Dr. Reynolds' office, how may I help you? Hi, is this is Angelina Hopkins. Speaking. Uh, we are calling to inform you that Eric Hopkins, who was believed to be your father, has passed away. We found him this morning unresponsive in his apartment. Our deepest condolences to you and your family, Ms. Hopkins. We've been trying to notify the family for some time, but it's been very difficult to reach someone. Is he married? Uh, does your mother know? Is there anybody else that we need to notify? Ms. I'm saying we got a whole life together. You you act like it's nothing. Yo, you think we got a kid together, that means we got a life together? Is that what you thought this was? I'm not just any chick. You are. You think this special? You think you special? I need you to be there. I, I need help. I'm confused. Th this, this right here, this is a mistake. You ain't never been grateful for nothing. I put food on this table. I put a roof over your head. I even keep the clothes on that little girl that I didn't ask for. So, you want to leave her without a daddy just like you, huh? <laughs> You are a disgusting, sorry excuse of a woman just like your mother. And you're gonna teach her to be the exact same way. You should've went to that abortion clinic. You did this. This is on you. Is everything okay? You almost missed Leo and Lily's wedding. Lily is wearing a pink dress instead of a white one. She said that the white one is too ordinary. And I said that's okay because pink suits her better. Hey, sweetie, let's get ready for bath time, okay? But Leo and Lily haven't finished the reception yet. Well, let's go ahead and bring the reception to a close. Okay. Thank you. Show for that one. And 
the opposition convert on this possession. Probably going to see a punt here. Defense earning their pay today. Not looking strong huh. after breaking three tackles in a row. Hey. So how long are you going to act like I don't exist this time? You're going to have to talk to me at some point, Angie. Jesus, Angie, would you just answer me? I got a call from Northwestern Memorial Hospital today. And they told me they found my father unresponsive in his home. And when they found him, they said he could have been gone for days. A week. I'm sorry. Hey, did you make the fettuccine? No, I didn't. You said you were making fettuccine tonight. I tell you, my father just passed away and you worried about fettuccine Alfredo? Aren't you the person who said that you're trying to be a woman of your word? Well, it sure doesn't seem like you're making any progress there. And you haven't spoken to your father in years. I mean, it's been years. So I don't see why. Keep your voice down. You're going to wake up, Michaela. That's always your cop out of arguments. Don't wake up, Michaela. It's pathetic. You're pathetic. I'm done with this conversation. 